I bought another comic book collection and we're gonna go over it. All right, guys, I bought another comic book collection and we are gonna get into it. Now, uh, it was the only one that I was per able to purchase in April. So what I'm actually gonna do is do the follow-up video for April and March. We're gonna combine both months into one wrap-up video to talk about all the collections that were purchased. And guys, if you're new to the channel, this is what we do here. We go around, we buy comic book collections, and we talk about the key issues. We send the raw books, some of the raw keys, we send those out to CGC, which is a third-party grading company. When they return, we go over the grades and go over the cover price sales data. How much are these books worth? This is a great video to hop in on if you are new. Now, the cool thing about this particular collection 133 graded books along with a very small handful of raws. So the way this video is gonna work out is we are going to, of course, go look at the collection. We're gonna look at a bunch of graded books. We're gonna look at this guy's place. He was a huge statue collector. When we come back, we're gonna talk about a lot of these books and of course, go over how much this collection costs. So without further ado, oh, quickly about the collector unbelievably nice, amazing guy. I had to drive all the way down to Long Island, but it was well worth it just to meet him. Super nice, super fantastic guy. He actually gifted me a bow and Thor statue also, which was awesome. And that's going to be, that's over there right next to my other Thor statue. Uh, so you'll see that in a future video when I redo this room, which is just inevitable. It just always happens. So enough talking, enough all of this. Let's get into the collection. All right, guys. So here we go. We have a first Phoenix and we are going to talk about a lot of books after this. There's a Gambit in there, Juggernaut, Alpha Flight, Cameo and First Full Appearance, Infinity Gauntlet. But we're going to go through any, everything later in the video. Uh, you're not going to repeat books. We're not going to go over books twice. Ooh, nice Submariner, Doctor Strange with the movie just coming out. That's great. Black Panther, there's your Winter Soldier, First Doomsday, and a classic Brian Bolin. That's a nice book right there. Oh, first Aquaman. That one uh, may be staying in the PC after we get it out of that ugly PGX case. We'll see. Going to get it cleaned, going to get it pressed and resubmitted. First Riddler, first Batgirl, first Nebula, first Black Widow. As you see, this collection, first Silver Age Catwoman, is full, Guardians, full of keys, already graded, full of key issues. So it's a, it's a nice one. And, and as you can tell, and I think I'm going to talk about this a little later, all these books are already bagged. <laughs> like I like to bag all my slabs so they don't scratch on each other. Oh, great books. That's the second Iron Man right there. Um, they're already bagged and they're in Mylar, which is great. There's the first Hawkeye, first Flintstones in comics, second uh, X-23, you got some Ultron there. Nice Golden Age World's Finest. So at, we're going to flip through just a couple more books, and then we're going to get into this guy's statue collection, which was really, really cool. All right, as you can see, you see the Thor statue in the top left. Uh, remember that one because we're going to reference that a little later. Dr. Doom on Throne. We've got some Jason stuff, some Spidey, some Sideshow pieces. Look at the caps. A lot of Captain America, Iron Patriot, War Machine. Really, really cool stuff. He had quite a setup. Awesome little collection of statues. I say little, but awesome collection of statues. Fan freaking tastic. Check out, check out this Thor right here. Custom Thor. Really cool. Some Bruce Lee stuff. Oh, he also had an a, an amazing collection of vintage movie posters. That's the Thor right there. The side. That's a nice piece. I should have asked about that one. I didn't even think. You know, you're always supposed to ask when you go and look at collections what else you have. I should have asked about that for a price. And some Terminator stuff to close out this part of the video. All right, guys. Well, we got the collection. And uh, I know I'm showing you a field right now. I had to stop over at a hot dog truck. Dude, it was awesome. And then... We are uh, about to get back on the highway and head back way up home. We are two and a half hours away. All right, guys, 
You saw a nice chunk of it. You saw some statues, but I've got some more stuff to talk about. We're going to start off with some raw things. And what was really cool about this collection too, a nice mix of Marvel, nice mix of DC. There was actually several books that I've never owned before in this collection. Also a few books that I may be keeping. It, it's a possibility. So let's get into the raw stuff first. First one I want to talk about, and none of this is going to CGC. Uh, Vengeance of Bane number one. This is the first appearance of Bane. I talk about this book every time I show it. Guys, be careful of the second printing. It's There's a Roman numeral two up in the top left corner underneath the artist and writers, I believe. Um, be careful. This does go through two printings and it's very difficult to tell the difference. Next up, Captain Marvel number one. A nice book. I haven't come across this in a while. This it won't be going to CGC. Again, none of this raw stuff's going to CGC. We also have Marvel Spotlight 32, first appearance of Spider-Woman. I feel like I run into this book all the time. Uh, and you guys probably see it on Whatnot all the time. I'm always putting this book up for an auction on there. And if you're not Comf uh, if you're not sure what Whatnot is, download the app. It's an absolutely fantastic auction, live auction show. Use the link in the description. Get yourself 10 bucks off your first purchase. Moving on, Star Wars number two. This is the first Obi-Wan, first Han Solo, first Chewbacca, first Greedo, first appearance of the Death Star, and first appearance of the Millennium Falcon. Whew. That's why issue two is such a big key, just like issue one is. Uh, great book. And he also had raw Star Wars 43, first appearance of Lando Calrissian. Moving on, a book that I actually enjoy here, a book I love finding, and a book that I always sell, and I should be sitting on this book. This is Conan 24, first full appearance of Red Sonia. Uh, moving on, we have Iron Man. Iron Man 118, first appearance of Rhodey. This one was beat up pretty bad. And last raw book, a book that I don't come across too often. When I do, I get real excited because this, this book holds some value. This is Jungle Action number six. This is the first appearance of Killmonger. Really cool. Um, with that, let's get into the slabs. I'm going to go kind of quick because there's quite a few to talk about. Now, you did see a whole lot when I was flipping through, and that's just the beginning. Let's get into it. This is... First one on the list, and remember, a lot of these were not cleaned and pressed, like a vast majority. I have a stack aside that I may be sending back out. I'm just going to do a little bit of a closer look. And the nice thing, too, about CGC right now, you can use, if you're signed up and you have a membership, you get free graders notes. You just have to type in at the bottom of the screen. Uh, on the bottom of the CGC website, on the home page, you could just type in the certification number of the book, and it will give you the graders notes. All right, let's get into it. Savage She-Hulk number one. This one came in at a 9.0, something that won't be <laughs> getting uh, cracked open. Uh, next up, a book I'm going to kind of sit on, I think, for a little bit. This is Thor 165, first appearance of a him, becomes Adam Warlock. This one was only in a 4.5. And it is every bit of a 4.5. This one won't be going back. Uh, this next book, I'm going to probably crack this open. Maybe even do a video on some of this stuff that's going to get cracked open. Ooh, let me write that down. Because uh, I think, look, see, things just happen on the fly. And if I don't write it down, um, it gets forgotten and lost into the abyss. So I'm going to do a follow-up video. Cracked books off the CGC. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll let Erod clean and press them, and then we'll do that. So this next one is getting going to is getting cracked open and sent out to CGC. This is Thor 337. This is a CBCS 8.5, but they gave it that little check mark on there, which means there are pressable defects. So we can turn that 8.5 into something a little bit better, 909294. I do have to check the graders notes on this one. CBCS also gives you free graders notes. Actually, I believe the newer barcode, the newer label on the back has a QR code. You could scan it with your phone, brings you right to all the graders notes and stuff. I could be wrong, but I'm almost positive that's how it is. Very nice feature. CGC should look into doing that. Next up, great book. Very expensive, sneaky expensive. This is Journey into Mystery 88. This came in at a CGC 4.0. This is the second appearance of Loki, something I may be keeping. I have to put it up next to mine because you know how I collect the Journey into Mystery run. If this one grades a higher... I'm going to move my raw copy. Uh, and sticking with Thor, sticking with Journey into Mystery, sticking with an expensive book. This is Journey into Mystery 84. Second appearance of Thor. First appearance of Jane Foster. This one in a 2.5 is a nice book. Next one is another one that I have not come across recently. Haven't come across this next one in a while. I'm glad I did because I kind of may be sitting on this one too. This is Hero for Hire number one. This is the first appearance of Luke Cage. This one came in at a 5.5. 5. 
Next book, I do come across this a lot with Silver Age collections. Uh, this is Captain America 100. This one was in a 7.0. It's his first in title. It went from Tales of Suspense. Ooh, Tales of Suspense, I believe, and it turned into Cap Captain America at issue 100. Uh, next up, Strange Tales 181. I believe it's 181. I didn't write it down. It's the first Gamora in a 7.5. Moving on, ooh, another sweet book here, Daredevil 168. This is the first appearance of Elektra. That one came in at an 8.0. Moving on to Tomb of Dracula number one. This is the first appearance of Dracula. This one was in a 6.0. This one's not getting sent back. Um, I did look at it. It's just, it's gonna be a 6.0. And even if it becomes a 6.5, it's probably still not worth sending it in to get regraded to pay for all that. The next one is going back to CGC, going to be part of that follow-up video. This is Tomb of Dracula number 10. This is the first appearance of Blade. It's a 7-0. We could maybe get a bump on this book. This one looked like it could use some work. Uh, next one. First time I have ever gotten this book before. First time. Tales to Astonish 44. In a CBCS 3.0, this is the first appearance of Wasp. Awesome book. Awesome, awesome book. We may send that one back just because it's in a CBCS label. We might. I'm, I'm going back and forth. Next one, another one. I have never had this in my collection. Never, ever, ever. This is Showcase 23. I know, Emerald Knight, I know your, your ears perked on this one. Uh, CGC 4-5, this is the second Hal Jordan, second appearance of the Silver Age Green Lantern. On the fence about keeping this one. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Moving on, how about some ASM? Let's talk Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man 31, you know how I feel about this book. This is the first appearance of Gwen Stacy and Harry Osborn in a 4-0. I love it. I love this book. I think it's undervalued. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 43 and a CBCS 3.0. First appearance of Mary Jane. On the fence about this one. I don't think I'm sending it back. Next one, huge book. Surprisingly, very expensive. Um, but I, I, I mean, I guess it's not a surprise. This is Amazing Spider-Man 17. This is the second appearance of Green Goblin. This one was in a 4.5. Moving on to a book that is getting hotter by the day. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 194 in an 85 is the first appearance of Black Cat. I have people ask me about this book all the time. This is one of the first books to sell at any show. I'm not sure what it is. If there's rumors out there about a Black Cat casting or a, a solo movie or whatnot, but people are loving this book and it's flying. Next one, maybe going back to CGC. I, ha I have to look a little bit closer. It might be going back. It's Amazing Spider-Man 129. Came in at a 6-0. It's the first appearance of Punisher. I have quite a few of these now, so I, I don't mind taking the time to send it back and get it done right. That's 6-0. If we can get it to a 7-0, that's a lot. That's a big grade bump. If we can move that to a 7-0, way worth it. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man. A lot of Spidey in here. Amazing Spider-Man 41. First appearance of Rhino. This one was in a 4.5. This one's going to stay right where it is. Next up is a book you know I love too. Another Spider-Man book you know I love and I've been hoarding. Amazing Spider-Man 14 in a 3.0. First appearance of Green Goblin. Next one, Mr. Emerald Knight. This is another one for you. I don't know if you own this or not, but this is Green Lantern number seven. First appearance of Sinestro. I have one in my personal collection. Uh, first time though, I've ever come across this book in a collection. I actually bought mine from someone, never found it in the wild. Next two, next three, a lot of Green Lantern here. Here we go. Green Lantern 87. You have the first John Stewart, a book that's still hot, getting hot with all this HBO news followed up with Green Lantern 59. That one's a 6.5. That's the first appearance of Guy Gardner. Love this book. Next one, another one I have never gotten before in a collection you see all the firsts here another one that i may actually keep i'm i don't uh, i'm going back and forth in my head about this one too this is green lantern number one in a 2-0 first appearance of the guardians but not the first appearance of hal jordan or the silver age he started in showcase but it is the first appearance of the guardians Whew, moving on i got my little note here okay uh okay another book i don't know if i've ever found this before but this one's probably going back to CGC to get a bump. And any bump on this book is tremendous. 
This is Fantastic Four number six. This is the first Marvel villain team up. Second appearance of Doctor Doom. Second appearance of the Silver Age Submariner. Huge book. Look this up. You might be shocked at how much it is. Big time book. Big time MCU potential here too. Worth the risk of sending it back and seeing if we can get that bump to a 2, 5, or a 3. Next one is my favorite book. Favorite spec book. The fa- my, the book I have more shares of than any book in anything. This is Fantastic Four Annual number 6. This one was in a 5-5. Five, five. First appearance of Annihilus. First appearance of Franklin Richards. I've been talking about this book for years now. Very undervalued. Very undervalued. Uh, next one has to go back to CGC, right? This is Fantastic Four 49 in a PGX 4.5. This is the first full Galactus and second appearance of Silver Server. This one has to go back because even if this thing comes back like a 3.5 or a 4 in a CGC label, it's still worth more than a 4.5 PGX. I can get all the hate. You guys can hate on me in the comments. You know who you are, rolling your eyes, but facts are facts. This thing is not going to be sold in a PGX case. It will be popped, cracked out, cleaned, pressed, and off to CGC. I don't care if it comes back a 3.0 or a 3.5. It's easier to sell. All right? So that's what's going to happen with that. Next one is staying where it is because it's a CGC 3.5. This is Fantastic Four 48. First full Silver Surfer, first Galactus cameo. And, you know, if you have 48, you have 49, you usually have 50. And he did in a 3.5. So we had the big trilogy, that Silver Age trilogy, which was really nice. Moving on, this one may be going back to CGC. Captain America 117, first appearance of Falcon. Uh, whew, I'm blowing through this. I don't want this video to last forever. So here we go. Next up, Hulk 340. This is that classic McFarlane cover. This one came in at a 9.6. I looked really closely at this book. Because the difference between a 9.6 and a 9.8 is substantial, but it is a 9.6, no doubt about it. Not worth cracking. Next one, gonna leave as is too. This is Hulk 180 in a CBCS 3.5. This is the first appearance of Wolverine in Cameo. Very expensive book. Another sneaky kind of pricey book here is a Hulk 141. This is in a 7.0 first appearance of Doc Samson. There's not a huge, massive amount of Hulk keys in the Silver Age, but this is one of them. Uh, we're going to stick with Hulk. How about Hulk 271? First appearance of Rocket Raccoon in comics. That's an 8 That's also staying the way it is. And, you know, you had Hulk 180. No 181, but we do have a 182. This one in a 7.0. This is the second Wolverine cameo. You know, Wolverine, fan favorite. First cameo and second cameo. The next one may be going off. To CGC. I think I may crack this, clean it, and press it. This is Marvel Special Edition number 15. It wasn't a 5-5. Five five. This is the first appearance of Shang-Chi. I'm I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna look a lot closer, look at some of those notes, and we'll, we'll get another, we'll get that follow-up video. Uh two more books to talk about. And if you're sticking around, I want to say thank you because we still have to talk about the price. Uh now this is the next one: Journey into Mystery, annual number one in a 3.5, huge book. First appearance of Hercules. First appearance of Zeus. A lot of potential here with Thor, Love, and Thunder around the corner. A lot of potential. Double key. Double first appearance. Just like that FF annual number six with the Franklin Richards and Annihilus. Double key. Very important. Uh, last book we're going to talk about is a DC book. This is Batman 141 in a 4.5. Second appearance of Batgirl. First appearance of the Clockmaster. Uh, you know, hey, I think it was worth mentioning. It looks really good. I don't know if I'm going to be sending that back. So with everything you've seen, everything we've talked about, I'm going to give you five seconds. What do you think we paid for this collection? Are you ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. What did we pay? Uh, What did I pay? Ooh. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Ready? Wait, nine, ten. Um, yes. Okay. 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 Sorry. Uh, I paid because I split it up with, with payments. Um. All of this came to $23,000. This was a $23,000 collection. Paid a little bit more than I wanted to, but there was no work to be done. So I'm okay paying a little bit of a premium when there's no work and no more added expense on my end. This collection was so, so perfect for me. It even had all the slabs bagged, which if you guys know me, if you've seen me at shows, I bag all of the slabs with 
with a comic bag, you know, like a bag, because I don't, I don't keep them in the bags from CGC and I don't just put them out because they scratch. They're all bagged. These were all bagged in Mylar, no less, Mylar. So awesome collection, amazing collector, great, great, great guy. A uh, bit of a, tr- it was like two and a half hours down to Long Island and we were, f- we were, we were far out there. We were far out there. So, um, and he has friends that, are also collectors so we'll see if that turns out to be something pretty cool down the line if they end up selling maybe there's more to be more to talk about so that's it for this collection keep an eye on these books because a lot of this stuff's going to be showing up in the next mystery box auction on whatnot just letting you know little teaser don't tell anyone it's between you and me thank you so much for watching i appreciate it leave a comment down below and as always keep it comics <laughs>